Last year I escaped the Premiere Pro cult in hopes to find a new hope in Da Vinci, but I was wrong. The rat race continues. The monthly fees were gone, but the pain, they remained. Here's seven things that still haven't been fixed. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So let me start this video with a compliment sandwich. I will compliment Da Vinci, then insult them for seven minutes, and then a nice little wink at the end to seal the deal of our friendship. I love Premiere. I'm, oh God, I already ruined it. I love Da Vinci is what I meant to say. I, I think it's better than Premiere now. I'm faster in it. I'm so used to it now. There's a lot of things that are much better. I'm just gonna focus on the things that I need changed immediately. It's hard. I have video footage of each thing so you can see it happening in real time. So the first thing is when we drag files into the program, if I'm in the effects tab, it won't let me drop them up to the media. In Premiere Pro, if you hovered over while you're holding like seven files, you're hovering over the media portion, it switches over and then I can drop it. Every day, I try to drop, okay, I'm gonna drop all my B-roll in. Oh yeah, I'm in the effects tab. I have to let go, abandon that mission, go find the file folder that it was in. Oh, did I remember to change into media? It's just the step every time. There's just the extra little fucking. So please, for the love of God, if I'm holding a bunch of files and I go into DaVinci, I'm ready to drop them. Let me hover over the media pool tab and then that switches, and then I can just drop them there. Please and thank you. The second thing is also a file issue. Same thing, dragging files. If I wanna just drag them onto the timeline still, it defaults to random order. No one would ever want that. Please mix up my files so I have no idea what happened. Just do it in order, as default. I have to drag it into the media pool and then onto the timeline every time. Just in order. That's a simple ask. The third thing is the last in our file mystery cabinet. If I have a file open, I have this folder called Picks for Video. It's just common things that I use often. There's audio samples, little camera shutter clicks, thunder sounds, monkey strength ebook type of thing. So like these are things I use often in videos. In Premiere, if I drag one and drop it on the timeline, that folder stays open so I can drag other things as well. So many times I have like, okay, I want the Camera Canada logo and the thunder sound. Try doing that two at a time. It's like, oh, the audio file, one of them's overwriting this. Just let me drag the file first and then the audio later. Don't close the folder. It just closes, it shuts off. And then I have to go back and search through my multiple folders. Which one was that? I'm annoyed. Now this next one causes heartache every week. It's so painful. In Premiere Pro, if I create a new video, I get a thumbnail of that video. So there it is, I can delete that thing. I used to have this so organized. When I have my videos ready, it's like I have my source folder, my rendered video, the thumbnail, and the project video thing. Now in DaVinci, I have to, they're all in this project file. Every week I have to go clean this shit up. I'm looking through which one did I upload already? Okay, this one, that one, yeah, that one's finished. I did that one. Oops, I just deleted my best video ever. It wasn't even upload, oh God. It's like, just give me a thumbnail, create a thumbnail, and I can delete that when I delete my other content. The fuck? Is it illegal to steal? No. Steal your ideas from Premiere Pro, do the things they're doing right, and get on with it. Take your bank heist to the grocery mart and buy some cantaloupes. This next one is just rude. I have a lot of audio sound effects that I like to use camera shutter click, little things, growls from cougar attacks. Trust me, that's good content. When I drag it on into DaVinci, sometimes it's a mono file for some reason, even though it's not, it's the original is a stereo. It comes out both sides of the speakers, right and left. 
but in DaVinci, for some reason, it like turns it into a mono file. So every time I drag that shutter click, I have to right click, audio, stereo, change this channel to that channel. Okay. I never had to do that on Premiere. I'll switch back right before your eyes. But why is it happening? Who decided to turn it into a mono file? I don't get it. Please stop it. I hate doing that every time. It's a stereo file. When I play the file, it happens through both speakers. And then in your program, just the left side, you want that? Couple more problems here. The audio sync. If you want to do auto audio sync, where you have your source file and your external audio, you got claps. Even if I have three clap lines, I press auto sync through waveform. Boom, thank you, so close. Let's zoom in on that, just to, oh, oh, that's not even close. How are you that off? Come on, now I have to recorrect? What's the point of that thing? Like, through the waveforms, you got three spikes. Forks, you ever seen a fork? You ever eaten dinner? Just grab some macaroni and scoop it into your mouth, your stupid fat mouth. Calm down, they mean well. I'm sure they've seen a fork. Their grandmother has silverware somewhere in the house. So that's annoying. And then our last problem, somewhat related to that. I can't change a clip to slow motion if I've used external audio. It's really annoying. If I do a clip and just, I have a shortcut. One is to open up the speed settings. So like I have 4K 60p, I just click that clip, press one, and then boom, I can slow it to 40%. And then there you have a nice 24p slow-mo somewhat. 40%, it's barely bullshit slow-mo. That's nice. What if I put external audio into that now? The one no longer works. The one does nothing. That's the first annoyance. Then I have to right click, change speed settings. When I change it now, only the video changes. The audio doesn't change. I have to then change the audio as well, and then re-sync them. That's the most efficient use of my time, I'm sure. It isn't, it's a bug, and it bugs me. I'm sure there are many more annoyances, but this has been happening since I started DaVinci way back, a long time ago. It's been like a good year. I've mentioned some of these. It doesn't seem to, it's fallen on deaf ears. Please fix these things, it's simple fixes that would speed up workflow, everything's nice. I love your program. Here's the compliment sandwich. There's nothing better for it. It's free, not really, but like I like the one-time purchase. Boom, you're done. If you are in Premiere Pro, eventually you're still making YouTubes when you're 81. You just spent like $15,000 for a lifetime. Like, what are you doing? Whereas DaVinci, 300 bucks, boom. With inflation, that 300? In 30 years, that's like $800 million. That's how much a watermelon's gonna cost when I'm 16 years from now. I'm gonna leave. Do you agree? I think you do. What else needs to be changed? Let them know down below, because they're watching, for sure. DaVinci team, keep up the good work. Release a black magic camera that actually works for YouTube. Little flippy screen on there. Even if it's manual focus. YouTuber's version of your Blackmagic Cinema. 4K only, that's all that's needed. Sony E-mount, maybe? Work out a deal? How you doing? I'm overstepping my boundaries, I see it. I'll go. After you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. I have them. The first seven people to subscribe get free diapers. The deal's expired. Don't expect them.